Good day. 2016 was a fantastic year. It was also tough. You know, I lost so many friends in 2016. So it was a tough year. And strange, yeah. So I lost a lot of friends. And I know a lot of you guys lost friends in 2016. Now, I'm thinking about one in particular. She lives in New York. And we were very good friends. We did, we did some projects together successfully. And we had good fun with this. And there was this respect between us. I know she liked me a lot, you know, and I liked her. And then Trump happened. And when he started to campaign, I said some good things about him. And she couldn't handle it. No, so she just left, you see. She, she called me some names too, before she did. And uh, I was upset about this. Honestly, I was, because I didn't understand. This was so strange. Why would she do this? So, for a while, I was pissed off about this. Yeah. And then, uh, yesterday, I started to think about this woman again as I was reading these statements from the Walk Away campaign. This is a fantastic campaign. Thousands of people are leaving the Democratic Party. And these statements, are many of them are very strong. I'm just going to read two of them. There are, you know, I'll just read it. There are lots of reasons why I choose to walk away, but there is really one area that clinched it for me. That is the reason why I will never again vote for the Democrats or the left. Venom, hatred, bullying, harassment, shaming, shutting down free speech by name-calling, outlawing and shutting down people you disagree with by labeling them Nazis and racists and labeling their opinions hate speech. Yeah, that's why I'm leaving. And here's the other one. Not one Republican called me an Uncle Tom. Not one Republican called me a coon. Not one Republican called me a sellout. Not one Republican called me a self-hating racist or a bigot or a homophobe. Not one Republican ever insulted my intelligence. Not one Republican stabbed me in the back because I had the nerve to be a free thinker, yeah, very strong. Yeah, I got sh I got shivers up my spine reading this last one. So when I was reading this, I started to think about my friend, former friend. I thought maybe she will see this uh, campaign and maybe she will reconsider, you know, and start to realize that you can be friends even if you have different opinions about one. American politician <laughs> and then I thought no she will not and I thought why why would she, why wouldn't she be able to do this and I came to this conclusion I think this is also a general statement about people yeah I think people in general are in a pretty poor state and this has to do with thinking and uh, dreaming and so on. You know, the outside world is putting this pressure on them. So their own thoughts and dreams are sort of numbed down. Yeah, it's a very poor condition. Maybe they had dreams in, when they were young. I'm sure they had. For, you know, they might dream that they would uh, become a gardener or... Uh, move out to the countryside and become a farmer, you know? And these dreams today, as time went on, uh, are so numbed down that they can't even think about them, you see? So if they try to do it, uh, the emotional pressure that they have on themselves would just stop them from ever considering it, you see? 
This is a very poor condition for an individual to be in. Yeah. So they have stopped differentiating their own thoughts and their own ideas, their own values. They can't differentiate this from this outside pressure that's on them. And they think they have to adapt this pressure in order to fit in and be liked or admired or whatever, you know? So, and I think this is the case with my former friend. So it's sad, it is, yeah. So, very good, this walk away campaign. Well, it's fucking brilliant, that's what it is. So, uh, yeah. Okay, have a good day. Bye.